So this time, I was looking out the window and I saw a crane. And I thought, hey, let's make a crane problem. So I also wondered, where is the maximum moment in that, that crane? Especially because we have some kind of cable here that's stretching almost halfway. Where is this maximum going to be? Now, it's probably just going to be right here. But let's find out what it is for this situation. It's a very high tension cable trying to relieve some of the stress on this moment. How much stress? Well, let's find out. Okay, first off, we're, since we're talking about materials here, um, we're not looking at any of these other members. We're not even looking at this little stub. However, all these other members are going to be affecting this stub. And since we're talking about beams, we're only going to care about vertical forces and moments. I put this little stub here because um, it's something that often comes on homework problems or tests. If you have a horizontal force on someone coming off of a beam, it creates a moment. So we'll see how that moment comes into play in a bit. So first thing I like to do is make it look more familiar. Make it look like just a regular beam without all that other stuff on there. Okay. This is just 10 kips. I need to know, I have some kind of vertical force right here. That's helpful. Um, I'm also going to have some kind of moment since this cube is uh, being pulled to the left. It's going to be creating upward tension and a moment. It, would, it technically would have some kind of um, force to the left, but we're going to neglect that for this problem since we're just dealing with regular beams. Okay, any other forces? We're going to have our shear force, reaction support, and a bending moment. Intuitively we know that this is going to be negative since this is being pulled down. This is going to have to restore that movement, but Positive member notation says that I need to write my forces in that direction. So let's solve for what these applied forces are. Okay, I have the dimensions of this cable and I have the tension in that cable. So this difference in height, I have six feet here and one foot here, which means the height that cable goes vertically up is five feet and it's vertically over 12 feet. So the length is 13 feet. I need to know the vertical component of that, of this force. So I have the total tension, but I'm looking at the vertical component, so that's going to be 5 thirteenths, which equals 130k 5 thirteenths equals 50k. So this is 50k. Okay, now we know, need to know the horizontal so we can find out the moment. We already have the moment arm is one foot. We just need to know what is the force on that moment arm. So I need to find Tx. Okay, I have the total tension and I need it in the x direction. This is 130k. 120k. All right, so 120k times a moment arm of one foot is going to make my applied moment 120 kip feet. Okay, so now I need to solve for my reaction supports. So let's just look in the y direction. VA plus 50K minus 10K equals zero. So VA equals a negative 40K. So it's actually having to hold it down from being snapped up at this point. So let's look at the moment. We have negative MA. We have a positive 120 kip feet. We have this force, which is 12 feet. It's a positive moment. I can't forget my negative 10 kips times 24 feet equals zero. 480 Kip feet. So something I didn't do in the last problem, something I want to do in this problem, um, when we're trying to find the max moment, anytime we're trying to do that, 
it's a good idea, this will help you visualize what, what's actually going on, is drawing a shear and moment diagram. Drawing the moment diagram helps you know for a fact that you are calculating the greatest moment. Sometimes there's a place you wouldn't intuitively know the moment would be the greatest, so it just helps you to draw it out, even if it's not a perfect graph. And I always just line it up with my problem, that way it's just easy to visualize where things are. This is actually going to be down, going back up and going down, so I'll make it in the middle. So this VA was negative 40k. I'll need a 50 and a 10, so let's just call this 50k, negative 50k, so this is about 40. I'm just going to do a rough sketch here. Okay, I'm going to go up 50, and over, and I'm going to go down 10. This is our shear diagram. That's going to help us draw our moment diagram. So our moment diagram is going to look something like this. So here's one of the points I wouldn't have thought that would have a, a higher moment. It kind of jumped here. I knew it was going to jump, but um, it's possible that this would have jumped higher than this. It all depends. Maybe if my nub here was a lot longer, then it would have been a higher moment, therefore it would be a higher jump, and maybe it would have been even higher than this moment here. Although we can pretty easily see that our 450 kip feet is going to be the winner. so. Our max moment is just going to be 480 kip feet, and that finishes that problem.